So I'm going to keep it with this PCL theme going here, the Pacific Coast League. And since uh, I recently mentioned Oakland Oaks owner Brick Laws in my SEALs video, I figured it's a good time for us to stay in the Bay Area here for a few minutes, the Berkeley Bay Area. And while you're here, if you could, you know, try not to rile up Billy Martin, I'd appreciate it. So let's go. What? No, no, not you, Billy. I don't want to fight you, Billy. The Oakland Oaks were a charter member of the Pacific Coast League, along with the San Francisco Seals, LA Angels, Portland Beavers, Sacramento Solons, and the Seattle Indians. The league was founded in 1903 and would be known as the third major league. There's a long list of some of the greatest baseball players in history who went through the PCL. The Oaks were an independent team during their history, with no farm team and affiliated only once with the Yankees in the late 30s. The Oakland Oaks were a fixture in the city for half a century and had to compete for attendance with the two teams over in San Francisco, the Seals and the Mission Reds. The Oaks were owned by PCL founder J. Cal Ewing, who also owned the Seals since the league's inception. Baseball forced him to sell one team. He sold the Oaks. The Oaks won four pennants and one PCL championship, the most recent 1948, 1950, 1954 with their final year of existence was 1955, and that would be the last time baseball was played in Oakland for over a decade until Charlie Finley brought the Kansas City A's and Major League Baseball to town. And in a short period, he created a dynasty. Mr. C. Period L. Period Laws was the final owner in Oaks franchise history. Couldn't find much info on Mr. Laws. The C stands for Clarence. Don't know what the L stands for. His nickname is Brick. I do know he was a smart businessman who hired some really good managers for his club. Dad has a couple of his signatures in the autograph book, the one in the thumbnail and the one I showed in season three on the Ed Kazak Padre show. Both times he signed his name different. In 1943, Brick Laws purchased controlling rights of the Oakland Oaks after years of negotiations. And in 1946, he brought over Casey Stengel from the Brooklyn Dodgers, who at 58 years old was considered over the hill. He didn't have a very good managerial record. It was with the Oaks that Casey Stengel started the practice of platooning his players, which he would do with the Yankees, with a lot of success. It worked for the Oaks in 1948, when they won their most famous pennant, with the team dubbed the Nine Old Men, made up of older veterans like Ernie Lombardi, Cookie Lavagetto, Nick Etten, and Catfish Mekovich. Add to that a young upstart rookie third baseman named Billy Martin. And rooming with Billy was Artie Wilson, the first black to play for the Oakland Oaks since Jimmy Claxton was passed off as an Indian in 1916. Back then, Indians were allowed to play with the whites. Artie Wilson was a superstar in the Negro Leagues and then in the PCL. He was the starting shortstop in seven Negro League baseball all-star games with his streak broken only by Jackie Robinson. During his time with the Oaks, Artie won PCL batting titles and would lead the league in most hitting categories as well as stolen bases and in 1950 helped the Oaks to the PCL championship. Brick Laws had no problem bringing blacks to his team. And this is in 1948. For years ahead, there were ballparks in this country where blacks couldn't enter a ballpark not only to watch, but couldn't enter as a player in the game. The New York Yankees took Casey away from the Oaks in 1949, and not long after, Casey took Billy Martin away from the Oaks. With Casey Stengel gone, Brick Laws picked Chuck Tresson to manage the team, but it wasn't long before the Dodgers snagged Chuck from the Oaks. He'd be replaced with Mel Ott, who didn't do so well. Lefty O'Doul was called in, and he'd manage the Oaks for its final year of the league. With Oaks Park falling apart and low attendance, Brick Laws was made an offer by officials from British Columbia to move the Oakland Oaks to Vancouver to become the Mounties. Oaks Park was leveled. Only a card room and a restaurant called The Oaks remain. So, Billy Martin, he's from Berkeley, California, the poor part. From a young age, got into fist fights. A lot of them. He was a little guy with a big nose and a big attitude. He also got into trouble. A lot of it. Growing up, his temper would cause him problems, whether it was knocking out a truant officer or punching a cop. 
rules and regulations did not constrain his temper or his actions. Billy was kicked off both his baseball and basketball teams for, yeah, you guessed it, fighting. Billy was 18 when Casey Stengel and the Oaks signed him. He got two chances with the club. The second one paid off, and he was sold to the Yankees. Well, kind of. You see, even at 20 years old, Billy Martin already built up a bad rep in baseball as being hard to handle and a troublemaker. So the deal was the Oakland Oaks would sell Jackie Jensen and Billy to the Yankees. $50,000 for Jackie Jensen and zero for Billy. What's funny is that at this point in their careers, Billy was actually the better player. <laughs>